Fusion 360's 2D Pocket can be used either as a roughing or finishing operation. Let's take a quick look. I will select 2D Pocket from the ribbon bar and we are presented with properties to the right. The five tabs are always the same in Fusion 360. They stay in the same order and have the same functions no matter what type of toolpath you use. This is done so it will be much easier to learn and remember using Fusion. The first tab is always where you select your tool and input your feeds and speeds. Let me click on the tool library to access the tool selection area. There will be another video on the tool library but let me just give you a quick tour. To the left we have our filter. Here we can change such things as operation type, tool type and so on to narrow down the tools in our selection area. To the right you have a detailed tool info. I want to point out that you can control all the details of the tools using the tool library button right on the cam ribbon bar. I will select a 10mm cutter from the sample area. Let me click once to highlight the tool and click select. The second tab is geometry. This is where we can select what we want to machine. You can either select a face or an edge right on your model. The great thing is, if there is a change later to your model, Fusion will know and you can update the toolpath with a click of a button. You do not have to reprogram your part. Also notice how we have options like rest machining that will check the toolpath against tools used in previous operations. The third tab is where you can adjust all your heights. The fourth tab is the passes tab. This has everything to do with the cutter engaged in the material. Here you can change tool compensation, add finishing and depth passes and stock to leave. The fifth and last tab is all about the cutter not engaged in the material. You have control over such things as lead in, lead out. In the ramp section, you can control how you enter the material such by spiral, ramp, plunge and more. It does not take much effort in Fusion 360 to create a toolpath. Let me click OK and if I click simulate and play, you will see that we have created a 2D pocket toolpath with just a few clicks.